Your Raspberry Pi is a powerful device, but did you know the SD card is often the biggest problem? Whether you're using it for a media center, web server, or just experimenting, the SD card can be the weakest part of your setup. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your Raspberry Pi 4 faster, more reliable, and with more storage by switching from an SD card to a USB drive. In this video, I'll explain why USB booting is better and show you how to set it up. Learning begins here. From idea to creation. Learn by doing. Creating what you learn. Welcome to Gadgets Pod, Create and Learn, where learning leads to creation. First, let's talk about why you should switch to booting from a USB drive. Reliability. USB drives are more durable and less prone to failure than SD cards. Performance. Faster speeds mean quicker boot times and smoother operation. Storage. More space at a lower cost for bigger projects. Ease of use. Simple to handle and transfer data. Durability. Reduces wear on the Raspberry Pi's SD card slot. Now that you know why USB booting is such a great upgrade, let's go ahead and set it up. Before we get started, let's quickly go over the equipment you'll need to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 from a USB drive. Recommended equipment. Raspberry Pi 4 or 5, our main device for this setup. Micro SD card for the initial setup. Power supply to keep your Pi running smoothly. Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi to connect your Pi to the internet. USB drive where we'll install or copy the OS. Raspberry Pi imager software installed on your PC for preparing the USB drive. Optional accessories. Raspberry Pi case to protect your Pi and keep it organized. USB keyboard and mouse for easier navigation during setup. Micro SD card reader, handy for accessing the SD card on your PC. Once you have all this ready, we can move on to setting up the USB drive. By default, the Raspberry Pi 4 boots from the micro SD card. In today's video, we'll show you how to change and update the boot order so your Raspberry Pi can boot from a USB drive. Let's begin with a step-by-step -step guide to setting up the boot order. Here's how to get started. Step 1. Prepare the bootloader on the SD card. To start, you'll need the Raspberry Pi imager software installed on your PC. If you're new and don't know how to install it, check out our previous video for a step-by-step -step guide. Once you've opened the Raspberry Pi imager, follow these steps. First, click Choose Device and select your Raspberry Pi model, such as Raspberry Pi 4 in our case. Choose the OS. Click on Choose OS. From the list, scroll down and select Miscellaneous Utility Images. Then, choose Bootloader. Finally, select USB Boot. This option sets the Pi to boot from USB first and fall back to the SD card if needed, exactly what we want. Choose the storage. Insert a micro SD card into your computer using a compatible SD card reader. Click Choose Storage and select the SD card from the list. Important. Ensure there's no important data on the SD card. Back it up if necessary or use a fresh card. All data will be erased during this process. Write the bootloader. Click Next to start the process. A warning pop-up will appear about erasing existing data. Confirm by clicking Yes. At this point, the bootloader will start writing to the SD card. Feel free to take a break or listen to your favorite song while it finishes. Once done, you'll see a pop-up confirming that the USB bootloader has been successfully written to the SD card. Click Continue and safely remove the SD card from your computer. Now let's move on to step two, installing the OS on the USB drive. You have two options here, fresh installation or clone your SD card. This option lets you install a brand new OS on your USB drive. Perfect if you're starting from scratch. Clone your SD card. This option allows you to copy everything from your existing SD card, including the OS and all customizations, to the USB drive. It's ideal if you've already customized your setup and don't want to start over. Option 1. Fresh installation. If you're going for a fresh install, here's how you can do it. Open the Raspberry Pi imager software on your PC. Click on Choose Device and select your Raspberry Pi model. In our case, it's the Raspberry Pi 4. Click on Choose OS and select the Raspberry Pi OS you want to install. We've selected Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Choose your USB drive as the storage destination. Insert the USB drive into your computer and it should appear in the list. Click 
by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus X, you can access advanced options before writing the image to your SD card. This lets you configure settings like the host name, enable SSH, set up Wi-Fi, choose authentication methods, and adjust locale settings. Once done, simply save your changes. Once everything is set, click right to start installing the OS onto your USB drive. Once the process is complete, press continue. You can now safely remove the USB drive from your PC. Option 2. Clone your SD card to USB drive. You can do this in two ways. With PiOS built-in SD card copier, or using external tools like Bellina Etcher. Start by inserting USB drive into your Raspberry Pi for the built-in SD card copier, or connect both USB drive and SD card to your computer if you're using external tools like Bellina Etcher. Select the SD card as the source and the USB drive as the destination, then begin the cloning process. This will transfer all your settings, programs, and files to the USB drive. Once done, remove your drive you are ready for next step. Step 3. Reconfiguring the bootloader on Raspberry Pi. Now, take the SD card we prepared in Step 1 and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Power on the Raspberry Pi, and after a short while, the screen will show a green screen. Once the green screen appears, it confirms that the bootloader has been successfully reconfigured to boot from USB first instead of SD card. Step 4. Testing. Now it's time to test if everything is set up correctly. Remove the SD card from your Raspberry Pi. Insert the USB drive with the OS installed or cloned. Power on the Raspberry Pi. If everything is configured properly, your Raspberry Pi should boot directly from the USB drive. Congratulations! you've successfully switched to USB boot. That's it. Your Raspberry Pi is now set to boot from a USB drive, offering better reliability, performance, and storage. If this guide helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Namaste.